is Talam Shaw and I'm from the University of New South Wales. Today we're going to work on problem one from chapter two of the Math 1131 algebra course. So this question is asking us to find the angle between a pair of vectors. And I'm just doing part one, which are these two vectors here. Now we have a result that helps us work out the angle between two vectors. It comes from the cos rule and our result is that cos of the angle between two vectors is equal to the dot product of two vectors divided by the product of the lengths of those two vectors. So here might be my vectors A and B and this helps us calculate the angle between those two vectors. So here we have our two vectors A and B to do is calculate the dot product, calculate the length of each of them and substitute those two those things into our formula. So the dot product of A and B this is a scalar quantity okay we should just get a number at the end of the day and the dot product is the sum of the product of each of these components. So the dot product here is going to be minus 2 times 0, that's the first component, plus 2 times 3 for the second co component, plus 0 times 0. So our dot product here is 6. The dot product of A and B is 6 here. Now we also need the length of the vector A. We can calculate the length of the vector A. It's the square root of the sum of the squares of each of the components of A. So in this case, the square root of 4 plus 4, that's the square root of 8, or 2 square root 2. Similarly, we can calculate the length of the vector B. That's the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of B. Well, that's just 0 squared plus 3 squared plus 0 squared. That square root's to 3 there. So we have the dot product and we have the lengths of each of our vectors. Now we just need to substitute that into our formula to calculate cos of the angle between those two vectors. So our dot product here is 6 divided by the lengths of our two vectors are 2 root 2 and 3. So here we get cos theta is equal to 1 on root 2. Now there's lots of angles that will cos to give 1 on root 2, we want to take the 1 between 0 and pi. So here we're going to get 3 equals pi on 4. Therefore, the angle between the vectors is pi on 4. And that's how you calculate the angle between two vectors.